Greetings, salutations, and all good things in between. What's up, everyone? Matt here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a whole bunch of child records using the AppSheet API. So I've got this inspections app that I put out a while ago, and it creates a whole bunch of child records, but it does it in a different way. It does it all client side. So meaning we're like, I can come over here and I can say that I want to start doing this for whatever. And then when I come in here, now I've got a list of the things that I need to do. And then as I click on them, I'm making the individual items. So in this setup, what I'm doing is I'm making the child records on the fly as the person's doing the thing that they're doing. And in some situations, you want to create them ahead of time. So using the AppSheet API is a great way that you can do that. Uh, the API allows you to do some dual context things, which can be really handy, especially if you're using something like the inspection sample app that I have here, where the child records, the details inside there are based on the details that we have in another table somewhere else, a template table. Uh, and so in a situation like that, where, where it's like, well, I want to create five records and I already know the general like starting details for these five records. I just need to like take that list of five things and make the five records over here. The API is perfect thing for that. So how do you do that? Okay, well, so I'm in this inspections one base sample app. I'll have a link for that down in the description. You can copy that so you can follow along. The thing to do is, okay, so we come over here to automation and what we're really saying is like I want to create a new bot that kicks off when there's a new inspection, right? And the item, the, the, uh, the data change that we'll do is on ads only. And we're going to do this for the inspections table because that's the parent for the inspections, right? Okay, so when we add an inspection record, this thing is gonna kick off. Cool, so what do we need it to do? Well, we need it to make a whole bunch of child records. So make child records, right? And the thing that we're doing is not a task. We're going to run a data action, okay? And we come over here and the, oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 my bad. We are running a task, sorry. Um, we are calling a webhook on the inspections table um, for the app sheet API. And this will be the app that you're dealing with here. And then you need to select the table name. This usually dra uh, like drags behind a little bit. Just give this a couple of minutes and it will eventually populate. Uh, so we can move on down here to this section down here. So what we need to do now is we need to generate the, the API body that tells the system, these are the things I want you to do. And this is where we get into the dual context type of thing. So in this app, I do have a template table that tells the system, these are the details for the things that we need to do. So that's the starting details, right? And so I already have those and I have a list of those available for the inspection that we need to do. If I go and I show you this, if I go to my tables and look at the inspections here, um, you can see, so this inspection is linked to a catalog. And the catalog, if we go to the catalog table, the catalog is the place where we're saying this is the thing that we need to do. And attached to that are catalog items. So by connecting my inspection to the catalog, the catalog has that list of things that we need to do. So I can just like snake my way through the, 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 the database using references to get this list and say, that's the thing that I need you to do. So if we come back here to my bot that we're creating, and I bet you, yeah, so this finally caught up. So the thing we need to create records into is the inspection items table. And then this we need to formulate to be the thing that we need it to be. So I'm going to open up a new text editor and bring this into here so it's a little easier to work with. So what do we need to do? Well, we're not editing records. We are adding records, right? Um, I'm going to get rid of these first couple of things in the properties. I always leave the locale just because it seems to make the system work a lot easier. Let me zoom in a little bit here for you. Um, okay, and now now we need to specify the rows details, right? So like I'm gonna drop this down to give myself some room to work. And so now we're we kind of moved into um, the 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 
document template land. You know what I mean? So like when you're sending an email to somebody and you want to specify how that email should look, you can create a template like using a Google document or something, right? And so when you're in that Google document and you're building the template that the system needs to use, there's some syntax and things that you have to follow. When we're here, we have to follow the same syntax, right? So just think about this as if you were like printing a PDF type of thing. It's the same mindset, same skills, same all of that. So what we really want to do is we really want to do a start statement where we're saying, I want you to start listing all of these items, right? But like, okay, what do we, what do we need to list? Well, let's go back to our app. And so we're on the inspection table, right? So let's go to look at those columns. So here on the inspections, I was talking that this is reference connected to the catalog. So what we need to do is we need to go through this catalog. So I'm gonna copy this, I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna say, so go to this inspections catalog link and get for me the list of the, and now I'm gonna go to the catalog and on the catalog that we specified, come down here and get all of these items. Well, actually, I'm gonna get the main items since I have a, there's a special situation in this app. But, so this is the list of things that I need to do, right? So now I'm gonna come here in my formula and I'm gonna say, so go back to the whatever catalog that we specified that we're doing for this inspection. And on that catalog, there is this list of main items. Grab that list of main items and we need to start printing those items, sorry. Seem to be having an issue with my Zoom thing. M losing my, <laughs> there we go. Okay, sorry, technical difficulties. So we're saying start printing those, right? Okay, so by moving down in the list, in this uh, formula like this, we're, we have switched the context of where this system was processing. When we first started it, we were processing from the inspections table, right? So like this is the place where we're kicking everything off. But as soon as we do this start whatever whatnot thing, we're switching the context from where we were to whatever this list is a table of. Well, this is a list of the catalog items. So we can now go to the catalog items table and say, okay, for this, what do we need to do? Okay, well, we don't need to build a catalog item. We need to build an inspection item, but we need to build the inspection item based on the catalog item that we're currently processing through the start statement because it iterates through each one. So like, what do we need? Well, we're building the body for the row that we're trying to create. And so what do we need to specify? Well, we're creating an inspection item. So we need to first off specify the reference that connects the child inspection item to the parent inspection. So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna insert, we need to specify that the column inspection item inspection, so this is the reference column linking the parent, linking the child to the parent, needs to be not anything from the catalog item that we're printing, but we need to like get out of this subcontext and go back to the original context we were in. How do you do that? That's when you use this, this row minus one type thing. And you say, so from here, from where we are in the catalog items table, because that's where we're, we're in this context right now, from here, go back one. And well, what's back one? Well, back one is the inspection that we're printing. And so now I can grab columns from my inspection here. And so like, I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna grab this. And I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna say this row minus one dot inspection ID, right? Now let me clean this up. So this needs to be in quotes and this needs to be inside carrots like that because we're telling the system you need to go grab a value. All right, so now this is gonna say, set the child records parent link to the parent that we're doing, right? Okay, that's part one. The next thing that we need to do is if we go back to inspection items, so we specified 
the inspection we're doing, the next thing we need to specify is the specific item we're doing, the catalog. So I'm going to copy this column's name, come down here, we'll put this in quotes, and we'll create the start for the thing that we need to do. And so for now, right, for this one, this one actually needs to process not from some other perspective, but literally from the perspective that we're in. We're in the start statement for the catalog items, which means I can grab any of the values from that catalog item by just entering the name of that column. And what I need is the ID. So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna to go to my catalog items. I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna find, let me find it, here it is, the ID column. And I'm gonna copy that and bring that in here for the thing that I want to specify this as. And I'm gonna call that good for now. You would probably maybe have some other columns that you wanna add into this, but that's enough for me to get, it's linked to the parent and it's the individual thing that I want. And then I'm gonna come down here and we're going to end the start statement. So what does this do? This then tells the system, okay, we need to create, because we're doing an add, we need to create a set of rows with these details, where the inspection reference link is whatever inspection that we're kicking off for the automation, and where the item is equal to the, the catalog item ID, and we are looping through all of the items for the catalog that the person said they want to do. And so that's what this little start and end statement does. And when you put that between this rows thing with the little square brackets in there, you're creating an array. And so this is literally a loop. And so it'll create one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, however many items are inside this list, it'll loop through all of those, creating one item for each of the things where the inspection item or the inspection link is whatever the parent is, and the item is whichever one currently being processed right and so what you end up with is this list of all of the things that need to be made and so if we take this and we bring this back to our bot that we're making for making child records come down here and replace the body scenario with this and so now anytime that I come in here and I add a record to the inspection table, what the system's gonna do is it's gonna run this webhook API call on the inspection table, creating records in the inspection items where we do it for however many items are inside the catalog link that you said you're doing, where it's linked to the right thing and it's you have one for each of the things that you're doing. And so in this way, when I say, when I come in here and I say, I want to start doing a pre-trip inspection for the 2004 Toyota Camry, boom. Instead of this list where I have a list of the remaining items to do, what I would end up with is I would end up with a list of the collected items, but they would need to be in like a temporary status. You know what I mean? Like I would have to configure this system a little bit more for this to actually work because of the configuration for the app. But what, what would happen there is I would have all of the items that I need to do right there waiting for me to go in and edit and change, maybe delete, do whatever right? That's how you do it. I hope you have followed along. It was a little long, a little bit of a rantiness, whatever, but let me know if you have any questions, comments, rants, concerns, whatever. Put them down in the comments below and I'll try and address. Thanks for watching everybody. Make sure you subscribe, check out the answer portal and give Appster a try. Cheers everyone.